I am the supreme voice, and this message is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Aries. How you guys doing out there, Power Tribe? I am reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. I say North Node because some of the information in my readings could be messages for you as you are in walking into your North Node, as you're living in your North Node. I am whispering and talking a little bit low. You'll have to turn your volume up because um, I'm about to use the Palo Santo and um, the window is open. I don't want to disturb um, anybody. So, um, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. How you guys doing? Uh, let's see. While well, I was getting into your energy just now. Um, I'm being led to tell you to check your chart. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, especially if it's your North Node, go check that reading out because it talks about some financial loss in connection to a relationship that you could have been in. Okay, so uh, that's another reason why I'm like, let me make sure I cleanse the area out before I start on Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Power Tribe. I was picking up on um, some energy of some you being unsure about something, something you're just not too certain about. So subscribe to my channel. If something resonates, hit the thumbs up, okay? And let me know in the comments what resonated. So Aries, the words for you are... Little game, playhouse, speak it, denial, and mismatch. Um, like the words little game, someone made a silent offer to you, but they were like playing a little game when they did it. Like they were basically making you an offer to try to bait you in. I was picking up on an energy of someone who hinted at something. You know what I mean? Like, maybe if I say this to Libra, they will, you know, go along with whatever bullshit I'm trying to present to them. They just were not upfront and forward about it, okay? Playhouse. Um, I'm picking up on an energy where somebody in the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, No Collective needs to really think about who they are and you need to stop playing house with some people like you're giving out way too many benefits like <sighs> too many benefits too quickly like opening up your heart um cooking playing house being wife or husband to someone who you do not know if they have the potential to even be in that position for you. You've got all the tools inside of yourself. Meanwhile, their head is someplace else. Speak it. Someone in the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node um, can speak things into existence, okay? And the things that you are thinking you've been manifesting. Um, for instance, you may say like, um, man, like something that you really want or you need. I'm picking up on like, you may need help with something, um, and you don't want to ask, but you, someone, you do need to speak up and ask. But at the same time, you're such a powerful manifester that someone will just openly offer it to you. Okay, I'm picking up on an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node where there is something that you need that somebody is just going to automatically speak up. Like they're going to say like, yeah, I got you for this or don't worry about that because I already got you. But in the same sense, there's something else that you're going to have to actually speak up and say, I need this in order for it to be accomplished. You're in a very, very powerful manifesting um, energy when it comes to your business, when it comes to you getting things taken care of, when it comes to you making a decision to move. 
talking to somebody about housing or like um, I'm just picking up an energy, something around housing. Like maybe you need to say like, look, this is what I can do. This is a deposit I can give you. This is the down payment for this home I can do. And I'm also picking up that there's something bigger that belongs to you and that you'll be reaping blessings for some positive karma that you have invested into the universe. Denial. Um, someone is constantly denying themselves of leadership. Like you don't believe that you are a leader because somebody invalidates your leadership. In fact, I'm picking up on someone where when you make a suggestion, someone automatically goes, boom, no. That's not the way it is. That we shouldn't do it that way. And you're constantly, constantly running into someone who denies what your ideas are, what your beliefs are. You can see it clearly. And, but for some reason, because it came out of your mouth, they're in denial. And whoever this is, um, they, in the future, you'll see it. You'll be like, I said that that was going to happen or I mentioned to you and then they'll act kind of, oh, did you really say that? They kind of did forget because they're just so used to denying every damn thing you said, you said or said. Mix match. There's something that's not like adding up. There's something that is like upside down. I don't know if that's like someone's bank account is in the negative but yet they have a lot of bills or you're thinking about getting with someone who has an entirely different background as you. Like something is mix matched. A job you're taking, an offer that you really don't even want. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, and Middle. Let's get started. Aries. We've got the five of wands coming out first. It's in reverse. Aries. Okay. We've got the nine. Excuse me. The knight of pentacles. And it's coming out in reverse. Aries. Sun. Four of cups. And it's coming out in reverse. Aries. Sun. Nine of swords. Moon. Rising, North Node, Aries. Seven of Swords in reverse, Aries. Sun, Moon. Okay, that's two cards. Page of Cups in reverse. The Four of Wands. Let's take two more cards. Okay, we've got a Queen of Cups. And we have Aries. Nine of Wands with a Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what we have. Someone's coming out of a friends or family situation where there's been a lot of conflict. This is not your energy. This is the energy of somebody around you. Some sort of conflict has happened and it's surrounding money, bills, um, some sort of conflict has occurred and is like resolving itself, like slow. It, it happened and it's about someone giving someone something like money for something that occurred and someone is refusing 
to do that or the, the situation happened in a family dynamic or, or a friend situation where someone refused to give somebody some money, an offer. Seems like some money was owed back to somebody and someone wouldn't give it to them. They said something like they, they came up with some sort of lie, some sort of sneakiness and to get out of it. And someone's bothered by it too. Has to do with the home. With that queen of cups out there, I'm picking up on an energy of somebody who did not deserve this particular thing to happen to them. Your energy, where you've shelled out like love, investment, you, with this four of wands and then the queen of cups, is something relevant about duties in a home, cooking, cleaning, um, doing what is supposed to be done in a home, okay? But some sort of conflict occurred where you were left feeling like you were alone. You went through a lot. Standing up for yourself. Someone not taking your side when it came to your share of money or how you should be treated in a situation. This could be a roommate situation since I said something about family or friends. Mm, but you've got a blessing coming. Good karma. Good karma. Then we've got a king of cups in reverse. Yeah, this could be a, um, uh, a dynamic of a relationship. Or this could be like one of the roommates, somebody that you're dealing with that has was unreasonable and came up with the reason why they shouldn't pay for something or they shouldn't do something. Wasn't willing. Someone wasn't willing to compromise. And it has something to do with being sneaky and finding a way to cut corners with money or rent or mortgage. Aries, relationship or partnership. Someone came up with a slick reason why they shouldn't do their portion. And somebody's feeling like they did what they had to do and now somebody doesn't want to return this. We've got a, a king of wands, somebody else that's sitting around Seeing and looking at the situation, you could have talked to somebody about this. That King of Wands has given me somebody of wiser, um, wiser knowledge, very intuitive, confident, um, creative. But someone is speaking to somebody. They're looking at the situation from the outside, looking in. Then the Queen of Pentacles come out here as well. Why is the Queen of Pentacles out here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Judgment. Somebody was responsible and loyal with what they were doing. Somebody was looking at a come up. Looking like, oh, you can afford this. This isn't going to hurt you to do this. Leaving the situation. Someone's relocating. Someone's moving away. Someone's getting their own home. I mentioned that in the channel messages. That, um... What was in the channel messages? Someone playing house as well as somebody denying someone's leadership. Yeah, the silent offer. <laughs> Moon card in reverse. Why is there anxiety? Who has anxiety about this particular situation? Why is this going on? Somebody opened their mouth up. Someone stood up for themselves. Someone had courage. 
and stood up for themselves and decided to move away. I mentioned something about speaking up when it comes to um, what you really have and what you're really working with and someone willing to, I said a blessing's coming, someone willing to compromise and make an offer in regards to what your situation is. The death card in reverse. Hmm. Before I say what I just felt. Higher font. Someone stayed 10 toes down. When you stood up for yourself, you stood up for yourself. That was it. Weren't willing to play the games. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, and get leave the situation. Relationship. Roommate situation. Something's going on in the home. Page of swords. Talking shit. Gossip. Slander. Why is the Page of Swords out here for Aries? An offer. Yeah. You're being offered something. Somebody's got their mouth wide open. Tell them to shut that hole in their face. Hmm. The chariot. Why is the chariot coming out? Why is the chariot coming out for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, north. Notice somebody getting a new car. Someone's got some forward movement. Yeah. So you've got an offer coming in. This could also be past energy. This could be something that I'm confirming for you that it that happened exactly the way that it's happening, okay? Um, you can also flip-flop the roles. Maybe you're the person who someone's coming to and this situation you've seen play out also. Nine of Cups and the Chariot. Someone's moving into better situation that's their karma i said you've got some good karma coming something you did in the past changing things are switching up or you're living in this energy right now hmm three of wands in reverse come back we need your help aries come back i think we can talk about this now Pff, fuck that shit Lying. Inverse and reverse at the bottom of the motherfucking day. <laughs> Are you pretty sure about this? You're making a move. Someone's buying a house. Someone's moving into an apartment, putting a deposit down. Fast. Ain't got time for it. Then grew impatient about the situation, leaving it behind. That leaving it behind... Gives me some definite relationship type of thing. Like someone feels left out and they've got to pay all the bills by themselves now. Wanting to compromise all of a sudden. And meanwhile, you're in a peaceful state. Somebody kind of like really letting this go. Someone's fed up. They've been dealing with this situation. Someone trying to swindle them, looking at, looking at them like they're a money house. Aries. Sun. King of Pentacles. All right now. Sitting on your throne. You give somebody's getting a new, something new. A new place, a new home. Got themselves out of this and leveled the fuck up. Definitely moved away from conflict. This is something more peaceful. Will of Fortune. Some of you guys are also doing something else. Like you're, you're, there must be a relocation of a job as well. Dealing with that Queen of Swords. If it's a roommate situation, I'm picking up on um, there being some sort of like, it's the opposite gender that was giving you issues. I'm also picking up on a, a separate thing where this could have been a relationship where you were giving way too much to the relationship. Aries, sun, moon, rising, north, node. No more card, please. Aries. Yeah. Somebody's coming into a more peaceful. And then you've got people who are going to help you. There's some people who have been observing this situation and can see that it's been unfair. Let's get some messages in the bottle. 
Okay, let's get some messages in the bottle. Ashes from the Palo Santo. All right, so what's going on with this new situation? Give us some, you know, spirit guide us for the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node situation that's happening with them right now. What's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node? Tell us what's going on with their energy. Aries, Sun, Moon. Okay, someone's having a change of diet. But the diet I'm picking up on is a change of, like, things that you're going to be taking and things you're not going to be taking anymore. Last round and that bullshit. Someone's like, hell no, I'll never do that again. Hell no, I'll never be someone's fake housewife or house husband. Hell no, I'm never going back to having roommates again or living with family. Aries. Sun, moon, rising, north node. Several of your so-called friends, check her out. Okay, this could be the situation where, and we can flip-flop the roles too, um, where you were in a household with this particular friend. This person could have had been attractive, a very nice body, or had something going for themselves. And... You had some thirsty ass fucking friends checking them out while you weren't paying no attention. Didn't even know you were in the kitchen and in the front room. Winking and everything. Aries. Sun. Moon. Rising. North and north. That could have been a different situation as well. Aries. She got dogged the fuck out. If this is a past situation, whoever this female was, she may have let one of the homies hit. She could have been a homie rollover. And when they got finished with her, they was done with her. It's a whole different storyline coming in. Or that could have been something that came about before you guys split from being in the home together. Aries, sun, moon, rising. North Node, Aries. Brown grass was on the other side. Wow. Oh, yeah, somebody went through something in a relationship. And somebody was looking at you like you were like, look, dump that bill on someone. So who gives a fuck? Let's go ahead and get one more, please. Aries. Sun. Moon, rising, north node. No one sees her nasty ways, but you do. Yes, I'm going on. I'm going to pull from a different deck. Something's going on. Snake type of things. Yes, somebody's getting out of a relationship and moving into another home. Mix match. Yeah, something wasn't adding up. Something was upside down about this particular situation. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to clear my area real quick. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull from the African Goddess deck. There's usually some healing information inside of these cards that could be very beneficial. Move it into a different direction. Starting all over. New location. New home. Learning from the lessons that you just had to endure. Aries. Okay. That was the grief card. So you're definitely... I mentioned that you're forgiving and you're forgetting. You're like, I'm done. You had enough of the situation. Okay, cards are being kind of quiet. Aries, what's going on? What messages do they need? Cards being kind of quiet. That might be the only message that you... Okay, okay, two cards fell. Shame. Because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Yeah, awakening. 
you see what you see now. Somebody could also be um, birthing a new idea with creativity. Someone's thinking about music. Someone's thinking about like someone's glow up is going to be excellent. There's a possibility wherever you're moving at, there's, um, you're looking into changing your diet, changing the way you walk, the way you talk, the clothes you wear. Nice, beautiful glow up. Purple could be significant to you. Something about furniture as well. Miracles. Huh. You've got some scars. There's some things that's occurred that happened in this relationship that you may be walking away feeling like you don't trust the way you used to. Feeling like you don't trust the way you used to. It was too much, whatever this was. It was too much. Okay, that's too many cards. I should have taken them. I'm going to take these last two. Yeah, this is the end of a storm. The end of a storm. But it looks like there's either somebody you're going to meet near you. Or you've been having company at your home. If this is past, if, if this is past energy, there's someone you're going to meet that's going to fulfill you sexually. It's fearless love with the goddess of Oshun. Um, some of you could be the age of 25 or you dealt with this situation for 25 years. Or um, the number seven. You're in a very lucky, lucky, lucky phase of your life. And if you're not in that energy, here it comes. I am the Supreme Voice. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps me get the messages out to other, other people. Um, hit the thumbs up and let me know what resonated in the comments. Thank you. Have a good evening.